28 minutes after 7 on this Wednesday morning. Now, a study on land reform by Afrobarometer reveals that majority of citizens support keeping the willing buyer, willing seller policy. Now, the survey shows South Africans want the return of land which is taken during forced removals to be prioritized. Just one in 20 people interviewed say land should not be redistributed. Well, joining us now is Afrobarometer spokesperson, and that's Gugu Nonjinge, to tell us what went into the survey. Gugu, good morning. Thank you so um, much and just break it down for us exactly. Um, what are South Africa, how are they feeling about the land issue at the moment? Because it is so complicated. I mean, when we did the survey um, in, in September and in August 20, 2018 this year, um, we found that like majority of South Africans actually prioritize housing um, over land redistribution. However, of those who said that um, land must be redistributed back to, um, to South Africans, we see that most of them um, want agricultural land to be re redistributed and also um, urban vacant land. Okay, so when we say that they want to prioritize housing over land, what is it that they're actually asking for? They want, they want a house. Basically, so I mean, we, we, yeah. we conduct the surveys and then we ask them what are the top priorities that government should focus on. And you can see um, in the survey that housing actually tops, um, is one of the three um, most prioritized uh, problems in the country. Mm -hmm. for, um, followed by unemployment and, of course, crime. Land is actually number 13 on the list, which is very surprising. Mm. Um, and also what, what I found interesting in the survey is that majority of the people that say they want land redistribu redistribution in the country are older people um, and also unemployed. However, you see a very small um, proportion of young people who actually want um, land redis redistribution to, to actually take place in South Africa. And considering the debate we're having over land expropriation without compensation and all of that, those are quite su su surprising findings but you you also can break it down like you say the older people feel a certain way you can also break it down by race definitely you give us some idea I mean a majority of the people that actually want um, land redistribution and land reform are primarily um, black South Africans they're older they in the rural um, South Africa however when we actually see when we look at the willing buy willing seller policy you see that majority of the people that do not support that uh, are white South Africans who are in the urban areas, mm -hmm. which is a bit of a, a story that we need to, to look into and zoom into um, as a country as well. And I, I'd like to know, and I'm not sure if you would be able to break that down, about what women had to say about this, because more and more we are hearing about the role of women or prioritizing women when it comes to land issues. Definitely. What actually I found in the survey that was very interesting is that majority of women um, say that men and women should have equal rights to, to owning land. However, there isn't much proportion breakdown when, you, when you're looking um, by race and by age groups, mm -hmm. which is very surprising considering the fact that land actually is very an integral um, part when it comes to economic empowerment and, of course, the whole um, process when it comes to empowering women in and, and, and rural South Africa. Okay, so with an election coming up, and based on what you say, we should have political parties promising housing and not the Definitely. land. The land should not be the card that they Definitely. should be playing at the moment, just by what you've seen here. And especially, it should be a conversation that they're having with older people, the older generations, the people who were there when black South Africans were being forcibly removed um, from their own land and, uh, and very f and focus less on young people. Young people want the un un I mean, employment more than anything else. So, yeah. Okay, very, very interesting indeed. So, uh, you, you take this to the political parties. They might want to come and find out <laughs> how to work out those campaign strategies at the moment. Okay, thanks very much. Afrobarometer spokesperson Gugu Nonjinge with us this morning.